Here we have a formula a sub n equals 2 to the n over 5 minus 3n. And we're going to determine if we take this and we put it in a series so we sum up all of the terms. We're going to determine if that converges or diverges and if it's convergent we're going to find its sum. And if it's divergent we're going to decide if it goes to negative infinity and infinity or it does not exist otherwise. And if we look at part B we're also going to determine if the sequence converges or diverges and if it's convergent we're going to find the limit of the sequence and if it's divergent we're going to determine if it diverges to negative infinity infinity or we'll put it does not exist if it's otherwise. So this is interesting because we can kind of contrast compare a little bit the difference between here a series and a sequence. Okay so first of all actually part B might be the best thing to do first because we can decide if this sequence converges or diverges and if we look at the limit as n goes to infinity of 2n over 5 minus 3n we can see what happens here and we'll go ahead and officially write it out if we divide or if we multiply both of these by 1 over n we have the limit as n goes to infinity of 2 over 5 over n minus 3 and so we know that this would go to 0 and we would have negative 2 thirds. So if we're looking at the limit of the terms as n goes to infinity it is negative 2 thirds. So this converges and we found the limit. Well that also then answers part A that it diverges by the divergence theorem because the divergence theorem says if you look at the limit of the terms in the series as n goes to infinity and that doesn't equal zero then it diverges. So we have divergence. Now if we want to see how it's divergent when we look at these terms we see that if we had um, n equaling 1 we get a positive term here n equaling 2 then we would have 5 minus 6 and we would have a negative term and for 3 and so forth the numerator is always positive but after the first term the denominator is going to be negative and so these fractions are going to be negative so we're going to be summing these things up that are negatives and when we add those together then we are going to diverge to negative infinity.